Spiritual warfare is a type of prayer which is engaged when the devil and his cohorts, his demons, and all that he has are operating in a space. Now, when I call say something a space, they could be operating in an environment. Many people who are living in that environment could be afflicted. They could be living in a house. It may be operating in somebody. If that is, the devil can at times possess human beings. Spirits don't have legitimate right to operate in the physical realm. But for them to be able to legitimize their operation in the physical realm, they have to possess a vessel. They have to possess an individual. They have to possess something that is physical. So when you see spirit possessing somebody, you realize that no matter what medical condition you give to them, medication, drugs, or medication, or drugs, whatsoever, they cannot be free. They cannot be healed. Why? Because they are possessed. You can give them the medication and the med your body may look at it so, so dead, but no way. Until you come and address that satanic spirit and cast out that spirit, such people cannot be free. And no matter the rehabilitation you are doing, for somebody who is possessed of the devil's spirit, you cannot be. There's another one we call obsession, wherein the spirit comes, uses the person, and then he leaves. That is why when you see some people, when the spirit takes over them, they do some funny, crazy things, and when they have done it, the spirit leaves, they come back to themselves and they begin to blame themselves. Why could I have done this? What happened? What happened here? Now, no matter whether possession or obsession, the power in the name of Jesus can totally set them free. This is what we call spiritual warfare. That is, if you're delivering somebody who is possessed in the soul realm. Now, when you talk of spiritual warfare, that means there is a battle between light and darkness. But you know the beautiful thing? The beautiful thing is that darkness and light cannot fight. What is darkness? Darkness is simply the absence of light. When light comes in, darkness automatically fades away. That's what the Bible says, a man of wisdom is strong. A man of knowledge increases in strength. And the Bible makes it clear, it says, and the light shines in darkness, and darkness could not comprehend it. You cannot see light and darkness cohabiting. It's not possible. When light comes in, darkness fades away. That is why the knowledge of God's word liberates. The knowledge of God's word liberates. It gives us liberation. So when you're talking of spiritual warfare, spiritual warfare involves somebody who has authority, somebody who is as legitimate, right? to speak to the oppression of the works of the devil, to stop and command it to stop and get out in the name of Jesus. You cannot enter into prayer of spiritual warfare without you knowing Jesus because of your own. You cannot fight the same devil and win. No, 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 it's not possible. You need to have Jesus, to have accepted Jesus into your life. Then you can command the devil to go and he will go. Not because of your righteousness, not because of your stability, not because of anything, but because of Jesus Christ that lives on the inside of you have received him and he has given you authority 